an orchestra. Lots of different instruments all playing together. But within this cacophony of sound, you can hear some flutes, some violins, and maybe some cellos. How could you pick out these sounds? You could do it because you know what a flute sounds like. You know what a violin sounds like. And you know what a cello sounds like. The Fourier transform does exactly the same thing. But instead of signals being made up of complicated things like musical instruments, they're made up of simple sinusoids. And the Fourier transform knows what a sinusoid sounds like. But can a complicated signal like the sound of my voice really be built out of something so basic as a collection of sinusoids? Let's begin with a single sinusoid. Here it is in the time domain. And here it is in the frequency domain, represented as a single line. The height of the line on the y-axis tells us its magnitude and the position of the line on the x-axis tells us its frequency. Doesn't sound much like my voice, does it? Adding in more sinusoids at higher frequencies changes the sound, but it still doesn't sound much like my voice. Let's add in some more sinusoids around the frequencies already playing. Now it's starting to sound interesting. Let's add some more. And some more. Fourier transform. As I add more and more sinusoids, it begins to sound more like my voice. Until Fourier transform. I've just built my voice out of individual sinusoids. I've performed an inverse Fourier transform. So why is the Fourier transform so useful? Once you know which sinusoids a signal is built out of, there is no end to what you can do with that information. For example, you can compress it, making it easy to store or send over a network. You could filter it and get rid of frequencies you don't want. You could process images with it, predict future events with it, measure distances with it. Every day, new ways are being found to make use of the information the Fourier transform gives us. In this course, we're going to study each of the core concepts of the Fourier transform visually and in detail until you have an intuitive and comprehensive understanding of how the Fourier transform works. What secrets are hiding in your signal just waiting to be revealed? Join me as we find out one sinusoid at a time.